Next thing, let's look at what are the things we can do to increase our self-approval, our self-appreciation, our self-acceptance. Here's number one, love yourself. Make caring for you the highest priority in your life. Take care of you. Look out for what truly satisfies you. We're not taught to love ourselves. We're not taught to look out for ourselves. We're not taught to take care of ourselves, to become sensitive to our wants, to our needs, our, our desires. So make a conscious effort. Make you number one priority. Your peace of mind, your health is more important than your family and any and everybody. Because if you don't have peace of mind, if you don't have your health, you can't serve anybody. Don't neglect yourself. A lot of us, and particularly ladies, have been groomed to be sacrificial lambs. Putting their dreams on the back burner in deference to their children's dreams or their husband's dreams or their family's dreams. And forget about themselves. Then become resentful and angry and bitter. So start taking care of yourself, looking out for you. Develop a health plan. Your health is all you got. So start taking care of you, eating nutritious meals, willing to exercise your body, taking care of this body, loving yourself. So do some good stuff for yourself on purpose. Take some time out for you. I'm into meditation. I've been working and, and exercising now, just doing some things for me, taking care of myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and physically. You can't develop and manifest your greatness. You can't be a high achiever if you don't feel good. Become aware of what your needs are and develop compassion toward yourself despite your human defects. Develop compassion for yourself despite your human defects. You will never be perfect. Hello. You will never be perfect. You're human. You've made a lot of mistakes. You've done a lot of dumb, stupid things. Guess what? You're not through yet. <laughs> You're going to do some more. Hurry up and get it over with. <laughs> it's all right. You got to learn to be gentle with yourself. Make it all right. What you don't know, mistakes that you make. It's okay. Handle it. Learn from the experience. Decide that you are going to whatever you become involved in to be upfront, to be true to yourself. Are you getting what you need out of it? And be upfront with people and tell them what you need from them. Don't assume that they know. Don't say, I thought you knew. No, tell people upfront, here's what I need from this in order for this to work for me. Be upfront with your stuff. Tell them upfront so they're not surprised later on. So your feelings aren't hurt later on. See, if they tell you up front they can't do it, now you know you can keep on stepping. But tell people up front, here's what I want. In order for me to play this game with you, if we're going to dance, this is what I got to get out of it. See, if you don't take care of your needs, guess what? You will always have that nagging song in the back of your mind say, well, when do I get mine? When am I going to start enjoying this? Are we going to have a good time together? Do I get any oodles out of this at all? You to start asking that question. Everybody's happy and having a good time, but you? They say, well, we thought you were happy. How could you think that? Well, you weren't saying anything. Well, I'm saying something now. Hope you got that. <laughs> See, we're taught to be quiet and not speak up for ourselves and not to be selfish. If you don't take care of you, who do you think is going to take care of you? Who's going to look out for you better than you will? No one. No one's going to do that. You got a business? No one's going to take care of your business better than you. Nobody. Nobody. Anything you want to do in life, you've got to take ownership of it and say, hey, I'm going to make this happen. Next thing is avoid people and situations that upset you. Hello? <laughs> See, there are some people that know just how to push your button. They know just what to say. So, you know what? I don't even deal with them. I just avoid, excuse me. Hey, hey um, I want to talk about something. I, I understand, excuse me. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> now, you might call that cowardly. 
But I'm not going to expend any energy arguing with anybody. Life is too short, ladies and gentlemen, and unpredictable. I don't want to spend my time arguing with anybody. How many so I avoid situations that will get me upset. I don't argue with people. That were clearly not right for us. I avoid things. The allure of not being alone. I don't look at movies that, that, that frighten me. Meant to hold us. Last frighten movie I saw was The Exorcist. I never saw another one after that. Get